Okay, good morning. How are you? Good, I'm glad to hear that. Have you done anything interesting during the weekend? Oh, okay, you have gone to the cinema, all right. And how about you? Have you done anything interesting this weekend? Oh, I see. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. So you have gone to the mountains with your family. Oh, okay. And uh, how about you? What have you done during the weekend? Oh, interesting. So you have gone to the circus. Well, that's a very interesting thing to do. Okay. Well, today, what I would like to start doing is I would like to play a game with you. Okay. We're going to play a game which is called Alphabet Relay. Okay. It's a game which is called Alphabet Relay. And the idea is that each of you, each of you has to say a word starting with each letter from the alphabet. So, for example, a letter starting with, a word starting with A, then another student says a word starting with B, a word starting with C, etc. And each word has to belong to a specific category. Okay? I will specify which category each one has to be. For example, I'm going to give you an example, okay? So imagine that you, student one, have, you have to say a word starting with A. And it has to be something you can eat, okay? So you would have, uh, you student one would have, for example, uh, five seconds to think of a word starting with A, which could be apple, for example. And then, a uh, student two, you'll have to say a word starting with B, which uh, could be, uh, for example, an animal. And you would have five, uh, min five seconds to say which word this is supposed to be. Uh, for example, you could say bear, okay? Um, then I could ask you, student three, to say a word starting with C, which is referred to a means of transportation. Okay? So, for example, you could say a car. So, this is the idea, okay? And I'm going to give each of you five seconds, five seconds, to, uh, to think of the appropriate word, okay? Again, you have five seconds to think of each word, all right? So, for example, let's start. Okay, so we would have um, student one, starting with A, something you can eat. An apricot, very good, an apricot. Very good, an apricot. It's very tasty. Very, it's quite delicious, isn't it? Okay, um, now student two, starting with, uh, starting with B, I would like you to tell me a fruit. Two seconds? Yes, very good, banana, very good. So we have a banana. A banana, exactly. Um, Okay, very good. Let's see. Student three. Student three. I would like you to tell me a word starting with C. A word referred to something... Um, a means of transportation. Five seconds. A car. Very good. A car. Exactly. Okay, very good. A student number four, I would like you to tell me, starting with D, a country. No? One second? Okay, time's up. Can any of you think of a, of a country starting with D? Denmark, very good. Denmark.
Denmark, very good, okay. Let's see, uh, student number five, starting with E, I would like you to tell me an adjective. Oh, time's up, I'm sorry. So, uh, can any of you think of uh, an adjective with star which starts with E, please? None of you? Really? Okay, how about this one? How about engaged? When you are engaged in something, you feel like taking part in something. You are motivated towards doing something. Okay? Okay, but that's all right. Very good. Um, okay. And student number six, starting with F, I would like you to tell me a part of the, of the body. Finger, very good, very good. That was very good. Finger, exactly. Well done, well done. This has been lots of fun. Now, in the next uh, game we are going to do, we're going to play a memory game, okay? We're going to play a memory game in which one person, one person has to say something he or she has done today, then the next person has to say what the previous person said, plus something true about himself. Okay? Then the next person has to say what the first two people have said, plus a sentence of his own. Okay? So, to make sure uh, you understand what we have to do Imagine my sentence is, today I have eaten pizza, okay? Imagine. Then student number one would have to say, today Iban has eaten pizza and I have read a book, for example, for example, okay? So this would be more or less the idea about uh, uh, of what you would have to do, all right? And we would continue with the rest of the students once student one has answered, all right? So let's see. So imagine my original sentence is, today I have eaten pizza. Student one, can you continue, please? Okay, very good. Very good. So, for example, student one has said, Today, today, Iban has eaten pizza and I have read a book. Okay, following the example that I had uh, given previously. Okay, student two. Now, try to remember what I said, what student one said, and Add a sentence of your own, okay? Let's see. Okay, very good. So, what student two has said is, Today, Iban has eaten pizza. Student one has read a book. And I have listened to music. Very good. Okay, now it's getting a little more complicated. Now, student three, you have to remember what the three of us have said, okay? Let's see, student three.
okay, good, very good, you have good memory. So, what student three has said is, today Ivan has eaten pizza, student one has read a book, student two has listened to music, and I have played video games. Okay? Very good, student three. Very, very good. Okay, now we go with student four. Okay, now student four, you have to remember what I said, what student one said, what student two said, and what student three said, plus adding a sentence of your own, okay? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, well done, very well done, uh, student four. Okay, so what student four has said is, today Ivan has eaten pizza, student one has read a book, student two has um, student two has listened to music, student three has played video games, and I have watched a film. Okay? Very good. Now we're making it a bit more complicated. Student five, what would you say? Okay, Iban has eaten I, I, Iban has eaten pizza, good. Student one has read a book, very good. Student two has listened to music, very good. Student three has played video games, very good. Do you remember? Exactly. Student four has uh, watched a film. And I have gone to the opera. Very good. Okay, very good. And finally, student number six, you have the most difficult task, which is to remember what all of us have said, plus adding a sentence of your own, okay? So let's see, how would you do this? Today, Ivan has eaten pizza. Student one has read a book. Student two has listened to music. Student three has played video games. Student four has watched the film. And student five, what has student five done? You don't remember? Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Don't worry. Yeah, you have to have a pretty good memory in order to do this, of course. So let's see, what, uh, which thing have you done today, student six? What have you done today? Today you have ridden your bicycle. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, well, thank you very much. That was, that was a lot of fun, okay? That was a lot of fun. Okay, uh, okay, very good, good memory. Now, what would I like us to do? What would I like us to do? Okay. Present perfect simple. That's what we are going to focus on today. Firstly, I would like us, all of us together, to try to figure out the structure of this verb tense according to its different forms. Okay? So let's take, for example,
Okay, so the present perfect simple can be, the structure of the present perfect simple can be different according to its positive form, according to its negative form, and according to its question form. Okay, so first of all, first of all, how would we write the structure of the positive form? Very good, the subject, first we'll have the subject. What else? Can you think? Can you think about what the next step would be? Very good. Plus the auxiliary verb have. What else? Nobody? What do we need now? We need the past participle plus the past participle. Okay, so this would be the positive form. How about the negative form? How would we, how would we deal with the, uh, expose the negative form of the present perfect simple? Okay, so we would have, wait a second. The subject? plus, what would go next? Exactly, very good, plus the auxiliary verb have plus, plus not, very good, plus Plus past participle. Very good. Well done. Okay. Very good. And finally, finally, how would we deal with the question form of the present perfect simple? Anybody? How would we start this, this uh, structure? Very good, auxiliary verb have. Plus. Plus the subject, very good. Plus, plus the past participle. Very good. Very good. Well done. So here, here we can see the different structures that it can adopt according to uh, according to its different forms, okay? So, what we are going to do now, what we are going to do now is we're going to um, say, each of you is going to say a present perfect simple sentence using these three forms, okay? So, we would have Let's see, can you think of a sentence using the positive form of the present perfect simple? Anybody? Very 
Like, for example, yes, that would be a good idea. So, for example, we could say, I have run. I have run. Very good. Now, how could we, how could we possibly use this same uh, sentence, but changing it into the negative form of the present perfect simple? Okay, very good. I have not run. Okay. And how will we make a question using this, uh, using this sentence? Have I run? Exactly. Have I run? Very good. Okay. So, now let's conjugate these three sentences, okay? When, how would we conjugate these sentences? Let's start with I have run. So, I have run, you, you have run. He or she has run. We have run. Very good. And? And they have run. Correct. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now, how, how would we conjugate this sentence? I have not run. You have not run. Exactly. He, she, has not run. Exactly. We have not run. And, and they have not run. Okay. And finally, how would we conjugate this question? Have I run? Have I run? Have you run? Correct. Has she run? Exactly. Has he or she run? Exactly. Have we run and have they run. Very good. Have they run. Very good. Okay. Good job. Now, I have some questions for you. When do you think, when do you think we can use the present perfect simple? Do you have any ideas of when we can use the present perfect simple? Anybody? For example, we can use present perfect simple. To talk about actions. Okay. To talk about actions.
which are finished. And happened at an actions which are finished and happened at an indefinite time. Okay? Well, for example, Or, for example, when we are talking about completed past actions which took place in an unfinished time period at the time of speaking. Or, finally, Also, when we talk about something that began in the past and is still true now, or when we describe a past action with present results, when we talk about past actions with present results. Now, I would like to give you a list of some of the most common past participles, okay? So here, right over here, you have a list, okay, over here, with some of the most common past participles. I would like you to keep them, okay? so that you can uh, have them as a reference. You can use them as a, re as a reference, all right? So here you go, student one, student two, student three, student four, student five, and student six, okay? So please keep uh, these, uh, this list of uh, most common past participles for future reference, all right? Okay, now, Now, I would like you to work in pairs. So I'll have student one team up with student two, student three team up with student four, and student five team up with student six, okay? I will have you work in pairs. And now, the activity that we are going to do is a gap fill activity, okay? And you are going to be using the present perfect simple tense you're going to have a verb in brackets and you'll have to convert that verb into the present perfect simple. So let me, first of all, let me hand you the, the activity. Okay. This over here is the activity, all right. So here you go, student one and student two, student three and student four, and student five and student six. 
Okay, so I've given you one photocopy for each for each pair. All right, and as you can see, now wait just a second. Okay, I want to check something over here. Okay, very good. All right. So now in this activity, you have. Um, I'm sorry, I, I made a mistake before. There is no verb in brackets in this exercise. We will have uh, the verbs in brackets will be in the following exercise. Okay. So here, what you have are different words. Okay. You have different words, and you have to put them together in order to construct either a present perfect simple sentence or a present perfect, uh, affirmative sentence or negative sentence or you have to construct a present perfect simple question okay so we will do the activity I described before we will do later but now I would like to do this one okay so for example um, if we take a look at the first exercise, we would have they play foot football. Okay, they play football. So now we have to create, we have to build this sentence using a present perfect simple structure. So how would we do this? Very good, yes. They have played football, exactly. They have played football. Exactly. Okay, so now I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you uh, six minutes, okay, to complete this, this exercise. Okay, very good.
Oh, you have finished already, all of you? Okay, good job. So you have finished sooner than I had uh, sooner than I had expected. Good for you. So how will we do number two? He has spoken English. Very good. He has spoken English. Very good. Number three. I have written a poem. Very good. I have written a poem. Number four. Mm, so let's see. Um, so student number three has said we have washed not the car. So the rest of the students, what do you think is the problem with this particular with uh, with this uh, sentence? How would you change the sentence? Very good, student number one. So we, the sentence would be, instead of we have washed not the car, we would have to say, we have not washed the car. Okay? And number five. Very good, Nancy. has not met her friends. Very good. Okay, now let's go with the questions. How would we write these questions? Number one, have they finished their homework? Have they finished their homework? Very good. Number two. Very good. Has she visited her friend. Mm -hmm. Number three. Very good. Has the maid cleaned the house? Has the maid cleaned the house and uh, number four so he has student number four has said has he drove the, the van can any of you think of what the mistake is here very good has he driven the van has he driven the van. Has he driven the van? And finally, number five. Okay, so a student one has said, have you ever wrote a poem? What is wrong with this sentence? Can you think? Have you ever written a poem? Exactly. Have you ever written a poem? Very good. Nice job. Very good. I'm, I'm very happy with the result. Now, what we are going to do is another activity. And in this activity, now I want a student, I'm going to change the pairs. So student one, please sit with student three. Student four, uh, st sit with student, uh, st uh, student one with student three. Student two with student four. 
and um, oh, and student five and student six will have to continue together. Okay. Um, okay. So now I am going to give you the next photocopy. In this next photocopy, now you're going to have to build sentences choosing between past simple or present perfect simple. Okay. Past simple or present perfect simple. So now it's going to be it's going to be an activity in which you'll have to try you'll have to decide which uh, tense, which verb tense you are going to need. Okay. So first student one and student three photocopy. Student two and student four photocopy and student five and student six photocopy. Okay. Well. Um, okay. So. If we take a look at the first one, it says, did you like the movie Star Wars? To which B responds, I don't know. I, using the verbs in brackets, I have never seen that movie. Very good. I have never seen that movie. Okay. So now I'll have you do the, the rest of them together. Okay. I'm going to give you eight minutes to do this activity. Okay. I'm monitoring around the room, checking if students are having any kind of problems. Yes, yeah, student one, do you have a problem over here? Yeah, so for example, in number five, it's indicating that um, you see in, in, in brackets you have the word have and not. Therefore, it's indicating that you should use uh, the negative, the negative form of the present perfect simple. So how would you have to say it? Okay, later we'll check to see if that's correct, okay? Well, we'll check with the rest of the class. Yes, are we doing all right over here? Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, 
listen, since I also, since I would like to have time to do a, a couple of a couple more of activities, I would very much appreciate if you can please. Uh, we're going to correct. Uh, we're going to correct some of these exercises, but I would like you to please do the rest to complete the the. the to complete the rest of the exercises at home for homework, okay? So if you can please finish the, the photocopy, the whole photocopy at home for homework, that would be great, okay? So just let's take a look at the first, uh, in this case, the, the second exercise. So let's see, student one, how would you do this one? Very good. Sam arrived in San Diego a week ago. So number two, number two we would have Sam arrived, right? Very good. And number three, student five. Exactly. My best friend and I have known. Have known. Have known each other for over 15 years. And number four, student four. Very good. He has written. He has written. Okay. And let's do the last one. Student number two, please. Number five. So let's see. Student number two has said, I didn't have. Do you think we need a past simple here? The rest of you? No, exactly. We need present perfect simple. So we, we would have to say, I haven't had. Exactly. I haven't had, which is a, con a contraction of I have not had. Exactly, since I was a kid. So I haven't had this much fun since I was a kid. Okay, so this would be uh, very well done. This would be um, the first five exercises. And I would like you to do the rest of them, the rest of the exercises, to complete the photocopy for homework, please. Okay, okay very well done. Now... Okay, so this activity we're going to do now is called Find Someone Who. So in this act activity, you are going to have to try. You're going to have to try to find someone who has slept on the beach, someone who has been to China, someone who has drunk warm beer, and someone who has fallen asleep at work. Okay? 
So to do this, you are going to ask, you're going to ask your classmates questions using the present perfect simple. For example, I can ask student one. So student one, have you ever been to China? Have you ever been to China? And now student one answers and he says, yes, I have been to China or no, I haven't been to China or no, I have not been to China. It is a good idea for you to ask more questions. So for example, if student one tells me, yes, I have been to China, then I can ask student one, oh, okay, student one, and did you like your visit to China? Did you enjoy your visit to China? And when student one answers, for example, if I ask student one, student one, have you ever been to China? Student one can answer, no, I have never been to China, but I would like to go to Paris someday. Okay, so now what I would like you to do is to get up and go around the class asking these questions to, to, to each other. Okay, so let's go. Oh, that's a very interesting answer over there. Very interesting. Oh, so student number four. Oh, okay, student number four has, it has been to China. Okay, very interesting. That was, must have been a very long trip. Oh, did you hear that? Student two, student two has drunk warm beer. How interesting. Did you enjoy the experience? Oh, you didn't? Oh, okay, okay. Go on, please. Okay, so student number six, what can you tell us about student number one? Oh, student number one has slept on the beach. Okay, okay. Student number three, what can you tell us about student number four? Oh, student number four, student number four, has never fallen asleep at work. <laughs> That's good for you. It's not a very good idea to do that, is it? Okay. Any other interesting answers? Oh, okay. So student number two is saying that student number six has never drunk warm beer, but he has drunk he has drunk warm wine. Wow, okay. Okay. Oh, and student number four has said that student number three has never fallen asleep at work, but he has fallen asleep at the bus. Wow, okay. What an interesting experience that is, isn't it?
Oh, okay, very interesting. So student number one has said that student number four has never slept on the beach, but he has slept in the mountains. Okay? I would like to do that someday. I've never done it. I have never done that myself, but I would like to do that someday. Okay, and finally, finally, the last, in the, in the last activity we are going to do, the last activity we are going to do consists of the following. This activity is, is called, What Have You Done Today? One student is going to mine an action. And the rest of the students have to, have to guess what this action is by asking questions using present perfect simple or by, uh, by making an affirmative sentence using, using a present perfect simple. And then the student mining the action has to say if he is right or wrong. So, for example, for example, I'm mining an action. What would the question be? No, are you reading a book that you're using present continuous there? We have to, you have to ask me a question using present perfect simple, okay? The question is, what have you done today? So, have you, have you gone to the cinema? Have you gone to a restaurant? So, if I'm doing like this, what would the question be? Have you read a book? Exactly. Have you read a book, okay? Have you read a book? Or, in that, so in that case, you are asking me a question, but if you prefer to use an affirmative sentence, how would you say it? You have read a book, exactly. So we could, you could either say, have you read a book? Or you could say, You have read a book, okay? So, let's see. Uh, student number two, please, can you start? So, the rest of the students, what has student number one done today? You see, he's going like this. So, student number two asks the, question, has asked the following question. Have you eaten spaghetti? And student number one answers, no, I haven't. Okay, somebody else ask a question or make a statement using present perfect simple. Okay, student number three has said, student number one has eaten soup today. And student number one says, yes, I have. Very good. Okay, so now, please, uh, the student who guessed the, the action, please come over here. And now you mind the next action, please. See, so he's going like this. What, is he, what has he done today? What has he done today? Okay, so student number six has asked, have you listened to music? And he has said, yes, I have. So the question is, have you listen, listened 
to music. To which he answers, yes, I have. Very good. So now the student who gets the answer, please, uh, please come over here and mind the next action. Okay, so he's going like this, he's going like this. Okay, so student number four has said, you have slept today. So he's not, he's not asking the question, he's, uh, he's making a statement. You have slept today, and he, answer, and he answers, yes, I have. So, you have slept. Today. Very good. Very good. So finally, let's do the last one. The student who guessed the, the action, please come out here and mind the next action. Oh, okay, so he's going like this. He's going like this. What has he done today? What has he done today? Very good, very good. So student uh, five has asked, have you run today? Have you run today? To what, to, uh, to, um, to what student uh, three has answered, yes, I have. Okay. Very good. Well, so uh, our time is up. So thank you very much for coming to, to, to class. Uh, I look forward to seeing you the next, the next time. And if you can please remember to, to do for homework the rest of the photocopy that I gave you before. Okay, so thank you very much and see you next day. Bye-bye.